Welcome back, this is the Clay Golem and we are looking at our Foundry VTT series where we are building adventures and campaigns in version 11 of Foundry. Now between now and the previous video there's been an update not to Foundry but to the D&D uh, rule set. Um, the most obvious thing you can see here is this paused game at the bottom now has a different symbol. Uh, <laughs> it purely uh, purely aesthetic makes no difference to capability or anything like that. So there's a few things in the background that have been tweaked and this is now version 3. Um, but that doesn't affect what we're going to do in this video. So in this video we've got all our maps and everything done obviously um, and in the last video when we looked at one of our add-ons um, and we started doing that so we're going to continue that by looking in this video at the torch add-on. So uh, this does this change anything dramatically? No but it does make life um, much easier for players and for the DM when running the games uh, and dealing with places like dark caves and, and stuff like that. So first of all um, we're back in obviously Seagrow Caves here, uh, which we know is lit by fungus. Now in Stormwreck Isle, there's not a huge amount of places that are dark. So the first thing I'm going to do, to, so we can see this in action a bit better, is I'm going to turn off all these lights. Okay, so turn off all of the glowing fungus that is making this place. I won't worry about up the top there, because we're not going to go up there at the moment. So I'm going to turn off all of those lights. So now if I go in, it's a bit dim, and I select our test character down here. Uh, actually, while we can still move within the bounds of those walls, we can't see anything because there's no light. The only light we've got is the light that's shining in through the entrance here. And this is what you would expect to see with any character that does not have dark vision. So let's say the player character says, oh, look, it's dark. I want to put a lantern on or I want to light a torch. How do we do that in Foundry? So without add-ons, um, there's a couple of different ways to do it, but the, the simplest one is we can right click, we can go to light, um, and you can see straight away there's a light radius of uh, dim and bright. So let's say we're putting a torch in um, that has a radius of 2020, and we update our token, and now you can see as we move around that light follows us. Oh, that's not too bad, is it? Um, it didn't take long to do that. We just need to go back in and turn this off again when the torch burns out or they extinguish it. Now, obviously, because of the fog of war, we still know what was in those areas. So if we move into them, um, we can still see them. But that area of light is not going to grow. So that's the that's the basic way we can do that. It's not too difficult. But what would be nice is to have an option where we can pretty much click a button to say they've lit their torch or they've cast the light spell or they've lit a lantern and it just makes that a little bit easy easier uh, so before we do that let's grab in our second uh, player here so we're bringing Randall who's our human fighter so here's his icon down here um, and he's already got some light around him for very close light uh, it's basically defaulted to say that he can see up to five foot even in darkness so that's under this it's not under the light it's under vision it says his visual range is five foot um, regardless I want to turn that off because his visual range isn't going to be that let's just double check this one should be zero as well yes it is absolutely so if it's completely dark they can't see their hand in front of their face as you would expect rather than being able to see that um, so let's uh, let's take our test character, double right click and come into vision and you can see we've got vision enabled but we also have a vision mode. So let's change that, say they've got dark vision uh, and we'll change their vision range to 60 for dark vision and update this token. Suddenly she, this particular character, can see up to 60 foot in the dark. Okay, as you would expect dark vision to work. Now what you will notice is that what she can see is all greyed out. So um, in the D&D rules, dark vision means you, you can see you can see perfectly well, but it's only in monochrome. It's only in shades of grey. So this is a really nice way of saying actually, yeah, she can see, but she can only see in grey using dark vision. If we move her down towards this way where there's a bit of light you can see that this is actually coloured. So where there is light, it's coloured. Where it's dark, this character can still see using that dark vision. Now if we switch to Randall, 
um, who does not have dark vision, again, we're back in. Now, because I've got the same character, it's revealed the fog of war. But if I move Randall into the darkness, we've got no light on there. So let's reset that fog of war. In fact, actually, before I do that, I'm going to get rid of this dark vision. Let's remove that. Okay, put them back to being human, because this is about light sources and stuff. So let's do that, and I'm going to reset that fog of war and bring that in. So we know that we can manually go in and, and change their light ranges and things like that if we want to, or straight away select dark vision. But if we go up to the top right here, and we go to our uh, b -b -b manage modules, okay, so this is a list of modules that I've got downloaded, but they are not active in this game. So they're installed but not active. And scrolling to the bottom, we've still got tokenizer from the last video, but I'm going to click this one that's just called Torch. I'm going to save this, and again, it's going to reload it for us. Okay, and it's reset this map. So if we come back down here, we're still in darkness, which is great. Um, and because we've reset that fog of war, neither of these two can see anything. If I right-click this token, we now have a new little icon just at the top left here. It's a question mark at the moment. And if I click that, it tells us about the light sources. So this module is adding this extra function button to the right click on our characters. And Randall will have the same, there it is. Uh, except Randall's, it looks like a flame. And there's a reason for that. So why has Randall got one and our test character haven't? If we double left click, uh, this is one of the things that changed with the uh, with the D&D um, update for Foundry is they've changed this character sheet. Uh, it looks much nicer, doesn't it? Yeah, I've not actually looked at this yet. I just literally just installed it before uh, for coming in here. Um, much nicer looking, looking character sheet, which is great. Uh, if it's more useful or not, not too sure. But we've got some options down the side here instead. But if we look at inventory and we look at their equipment, we can see that Randall has a torch in the inventory. Okay, so what the, what the add-on is doing is saying, well, hang on, he has a torch, therefore he has the ability to light it. If I right-click on this icon, it will bring up a list of all of the lighting options that this character has. He's only got the torch. And if I left-click on that icon, he's lit his torch. So to turn that torch on and off... So I can move him around, he's got his torch on. All I need to do is right click and click that icon, it turns his torch off. Right click, click it again, it turns on the default for this person. And the default for this character was that torch. So that's really good. That's a really easy way to say he's now got this torch and he can go off and explore. So let's use our test person. Let's open them up. Uh, and I want to add a couple of bits of equipment to them. So let's go to our... SRD content go to our items and in here we are going to add in the torch whoops if I could spell and we should be able to just drag and drop and now that appears in the inventory yes there we go so under consumables we've now got a torch uh, what about so we've got some lanterns here as well let's stick a hooded lantern in as well which is the, the normal type of lantern so if we click on this Oops, it's asking me to use ability, okay, because I've clicked on it, the torch icon, uh, the torch add-on is asking me if I want to light that straight away. I don't. What I want to do, hovering over it, it tells me that the torch has a 20-foot dim and then an additional, um, sorry, it has a 20-foot bright light with an additional 20-foot of dim light. Um, so a total of 40 foot radius. If I look at the lantern, it's got different. So it's got 30 foot radius of dim. Uh, sorry, of bright, followed by a 30 foot radius of dim for a total of 60 feet radius. So these have got different radius. Uh, the hooded lantern is much uh, is much brighter. It covers a wider area. But obviously, the torch is much, much cheaper. So now we've got two options here. So if I close this, now we've got those. I'll just get rid of the SRD up there. So if I now right click, I don't have a question mark anymore. I now have the flame icon. And if I right click on this, you can see it's telling me or it's asking me um, which one of these I want to use. So I can use the torch or the lantern. So let's use the torch. Left click on the icon. This character now has a torch and we can wander away up here to explore. 
Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch that torch over to be a lantern. So just bear in mind how far. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So each of these squares is five. So that is your total of 40 foot bright plus your 40 foot dim. And hopefully you can kind of see that it's much brighter here and much dimmer out here. So we've got that, that, that radius that we would expect. Let's turn that off. Right click, select the lantern turn it back on. Suddenly we can see a fair bit further because remember that lantern has a much bigger radius. So without having to right click, go into light, change these values, oh blimey how, how, how big a radius is a torch, having to look that up if you can't remember and things like that. We actually, it's just literally a, uh, a click. A click to turn it on, click to turn it off, right click to uh, Why is it not going to do it now? That's typical, isn't it? There we go. Right click now um, and we can change that default lighting source. So again, put the torch back on. We can see, we know what was there because of the fog of war, but actually we can only see up to this line. So it's not a, it's not a huge, you know, um, <clears throat> doesn't make a huge difference, but it will add a lot more uh, smoothness to your games and just make it much easier for DMs to quickly light and unlight torches and things. If we have a look at the options for this one, so we go back to our game settings, go to our configure settings, and we can see the torch here, and we can see some of those settings. It says here about allowing players to toggle their own torches. So that means the players can do what we were just doing. They can go, oh, I want to select the lantern and light it. I want to select the torch and light it. So that way we don't have to rely on the DM going in and making alterations and things like that. So while they might be discussing, a player says, oh yes, uh, right, well I'm going to light a torch before we go in. The DM can just say, brilliant, okay, you light your torch, you do that. And then they can move on, keep the game flowing, keep the story flowing without worrying about that. Yeah, very small, but that little bit of admin. So that's a really nice way to do it. Uh, you can see that it also says here that it consumes inventory items. So if you've lit a torch and you keep it lit, um, the idea is that torch would be used up um, and would be taken out of your inventory. I haven't tested that, but I assume that's correct. Um, and that's how it would work, which is, which is good. That's great. So it's really kind of nice little uh, quality of life feature uh, that the players can use to save the DM a bit of effort if they want to. So one other thing that it'll be useful to test is, uh, yes, brilliant, torches and lanterns. What about the light spell? So if we go to the SRD, hopefully I'll be able to find light spell without uh, too much drama. Now, one of the other things with the update to the D&D &D game system within Foundry is some of these SRD things, you can see we've now got these put nicely into folders and things. Um, that we didn't have before. So all of our spells are in here uh, instead. Uh, cantrips at the bottom here, so we can look at these. So let's say we want the spell, the light spell, drop that onto our character. Uh, and I'm not sure if that will add it to our character as a spell by just dropping it onto the icon. And the answer would be no. Okay, so, but we should be able to hopefully drop it yeah so we drop it into the character sheet we can't drop it into the icon which makes sense but it's useful to test so now this character has the cantrip of light let's get rid of the srd let's close our character sheet now if we right click we've still got our flame icon and now if i right click that yeah look we've now got the light spell available as one of our options we can light a torch we can light a lantern or we can choose the light spell and there it is so that's really, really useful um, to be able to do that for characters who are going to be casting light as opposed to using torches and things. Really, really easy. They can just select it from there and away they go. You don't need to look it up. You don't need to make those alterations to the radius and everything else. It's going to pick those up by default. So I think that is particularly good little quality of life um, thing there. Okay, so... Uh, what do we do with it? Here's Randall. So Randall's over here. Uh, obviously he can't see anywhere because he hasn't got any of those. Um, and he can be in this darkness and he can wander up here. Okay. Oh, there's our drippy sounds. Um, 
whoops, a daisy, uh, but this character can't. So we can put on, just to show that again, let's double right click uh, and let's give him back his dark vision, sorry, vision, not light. Give him back his dark vision of 60 foot. Okay, so just to show that again, um, Randall can now see all of these things grayed out because it's in the dark, which is absolutely fine. Let's select our other token and we move this one in um, with her light spell going now. And when we select over to Randall, again, just as we said before, we can see, look, look at the boundary here of where the light spell is traveling. And Randall can see all of these things within the circle of the light spell. He can see all of those in color. And then he can see beyond that with his dark vision, everything's in gray. So it's only a, it's only a relatively simple little add-on, uh, but I think that makes a huge difference to the player experience. It's definitely one that I'm going to leave installed and configured. It's just a small quality of life, huge, huge difference. So quick little video relative to some of the others. I'll pop everybody back over here and reset everything. Oops, I've lost my test character. Bring back over here and turn all those lights back on. Um, so we've got our normal Oops, a daisy. So we've got our normal experience um, for when we use this. All right, everything back on. Uh, and I'm going to reset that fog of war. So nice little one. Um, easy to use, very simple. I can use it, which means anybody can because I'm a bit of a muppet. Um, so uh, yeah, uh, have a play. If you've got different solutions to these little, uh, little problems or you've got different add-ons that you think might be worth investigating um, and have a look at, drop a comment. Um, we're here to learn, we're here to see what is what works, what's best, how to make sure that this is the best experience for our players without giving our DMs you know, brain hemorrhages and heart attacks and things like that. It's supposed to be fun and relaxing um, to, uh, you know, to actually run these games and, and enjoy playing these games. So uh, that's it. I will see you in the next one. Thank you.